Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm going to show you how to install a really awesome script for the Steam Deck that'll increase performance and also help you manage your storage. This is really a set of tools that comes in kind of an application form, really easy to install, and it's coming to us from Cryobyte33. Link for their YouTube channel and GitHub will be in the description, and I would highly recommend checking out their Cryo Utilities 2.0 video. I'll also link that video direct, but in that one, they go over everything that Cryo Utilities 2.0 can do and why it's done. Lots of technical explanations and data are in that video. It's definitely worth a watch. This is a really awesome utility for the Steam Deck, and to tell you the truth, I was a little skeptical of the performance claims, but after testing this out with the presets they've added for Cryo Utilities 2.0, this definitely ups performance in all of the games that I've played on the Steam Deck. It's actually really amazing. And this doesn't overclock the APU or up the TDP or anything like that. This all has to do with tweaks to the swap file system the Steam Deck uses with its Linux operating system. And I was kind of blown away by the performance gains I got out of this. And speaking of that, before we get into the installation, I wanted to give you a little demo here. Horizon Zero Dawn using the Steam Deck presets, and I do have the FPS cap off. VSync is obviously also off. At the very top, we've got Cryo Utilities 2.0 with their recommended settings, and at the bottom, we've got the stock Steam Deck settings. As you can see, we are getting a much higher frame rate on the top, and this alleviated pretty much all of the stutter that this game is notorious for on the Steam Deck. And keep in mind, I was just using the Cryo Utilities recommended settings. There's a lot of tweaking you can do here. Now, if you're interested in getting this installed, there are a couple things we need to do. And first up, I personally recommend setting the VRAM on your Steam Deck to four gigs. That's how I have it set up. That's exactly what we're gonna be doing in this video. We're gonna go ahead and power our Steam Deck completely off. And to tell you the truth, it's been so long since I've had a stock Steam Deck. I'm not sure if it's already set to four gigs. If I remember correctly, it isn't. But uh, either way, I'm going to show you how to do it. We need to get to the BIOS, so make sure everything's shut down completely. With the Steam Deck powered off, we're going to hold the volume up button and the three dot button over on the right hand side. We'll press the power button, release the power button, and keep the other two buttons held. This will bring us into the BIOS. We want to navigate to Setup Utility. From here, we're going to go to Advanced. Find UMA frame buffer size. Mine's already set to four gigs and we can go anywhere from 256 up to four gigs. Make sure four gigs is chosen. Once we have that set up, we need to head over to exit and we're gonna exit saving changes. It'll prompt us, yes or no, we'll choose yes. And now we have the dedicated VRAM size set to four gigs on the Steam Deck. I'm going to go ahead and plug this into my game capture so we can get a better look at everything. There's only a few extra things we need to do here to get Cryo Utilities 2.0 installed. So before we get into the install, I'm going to make it a little easier on you down the road. We're going to press our Steam Deck button. We're going to go to Settings, System, and we want to go all the way down to the bottom here. Run Storage Device Maintenance Tasks. Now, this is going to make it a lot quicker for installing Cryo Utilities. It really depends on how much data you have on your SSD right now. But if you run this right now, it won't need to do it when we're installing Cryo Utilities. So we can go ahead and make it a little easier on us. We'll just let this run. If you've been using your Steam Deck a lot and you've got a ton of games installed, this could take around 15 minutes in some cases. For me, it only took about 5 minutes the first time I ran it. Once it's finished, we'll back up. now time to install cryo utilities this is actually really simple but we need to move over to desktop mode and to do this we can press our steam button scroll down to power switch to desktop now that we're in desktop mode the first thing we need to do is set a sudo password if you haven't done this already it's actually pretty simple from the steam icon in the lower left hand corner system console. You can also type it right in here to find it. This is terminal. All we're going to type in here is passwd. Now in order to bring up your keyboard on the Steam Deck, you're going to press your Steam button and the X button at the same time. That'll bring up your on-screen keyboard. I've already got a password set up, but I'm going to go ahead and just change it. It's going to ask you what passwords you want to use, and when you're typing it in, you won't see anything displayed in terminal, and that's just for security reasons but it will double check and ask you for that same password again. My password has been updated successfully. 
So we can go ahead and close down terminal. Next thing we need to do is open up a browser. I'm using Firefox. And we're going to head over to Cryobyte33's GitHub page. Link for this will be in the description, along with their YouTube channel, which has a lot of explanation on how this really works. We're going to scroll down a bit and make sure you read through this. Lots of great information. Tells you exactly what you need to know about Cryo Utilities. But in order to download it and get it installed, the install section right here, download this link. We want to right click on this link and we're going to save link as, right to our desktop, save. We'll go ahead and minimize this. It's going to be located right here. This is exactly what we just saved from the GitHub page. We're going to double click, continue, and it's going to set up a Cryo Utilities application on the desktop and under Utilities. So we'll choose OK. You can see we've got Cryo Utilities right here. We've also got an Update Cryo Utilities and an Uninstall. So in order to uninstall this, all you'll need to do is double click on the Uninstall Cryo Utilities and it's going to ask you if you want to revert back to the stock settings. Very easy to uninstall it. But now that it's installed, we're going to double click on the Cryo Utilities icon. This script was made by Cryobyte33 to resize the swap file on the Steam Deck. Go ahead and read through it. If you agree, we'll choose yes. Now we need to put in the password we just created. Give it root access. So in Cryobyte33's video, he goes over all of this. Swap, memory, storage, VRAM. From the home section, recommended settings, we can go ahead and enable it right here, or we could revert to the stock settings. I would highly recommend checking out Cryobyte's YouTube video. Like I mentioned, goes through everything you need to know about this. But for the less technical savvy, all we really need to do is use the recommended settings. This is exactly what I've done. We're going to choose recommended, give it a little bit to finish up, and the recommended settings are now applied. We'll choose OK. We can go ahead and close it down, and we're ready to go. We're going to get the gains we need from Cryo Utilities to uninstall right here on the desktop. Also, from our Steam Deck icon, Utilities, you'll see we've got the Cryo Utilities, Cryo Utilities Uninstall, and the Update. So when it's time to update, we can double click on this here, or we can use the desktop icon. And if you don't want to completely uninstall it, you can launch Cryo Utilities, put in our password, and we can go back to the stock settings of the Steam Deck. But I've personally been having really good luck with these recommended settings, and it's definitely upped the performance on my Steam Deck. So we've got it installed. We can return to gaming mode and start playing our favorite games. There's no other configuration we need to do here, unless you want to do some tweaking just to see if you can get a bit better performance. But these recommended settings are pretty awesome. Now you might have noticed that I had a totally different theme on my Steam Deck, and for that I used Decky Loader and CSS Loader. I've done a video on it, link for that will be down below, along with Cryobyte33's YouTube channel and GitHub. If you end up using this and it helps you out, let us know in the comments below what kind of games you got and what game you're playing. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Like always, thanks for watching.